Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled song section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has piano, pads, bass, and some synth triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here up to here. Your right hand will play chords for most of the song in this middle range of the keyboard. And there's also a lead patch from here up the rest of the keys that will get louder as you increase the song section control. But you can feel free to play chords anywhere from this note up. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, down verse, interlude, and down bridge. At one third will be your medium verse. Two thirds will be your chorus, your medium bridge, and your medium interlude. And all the way up will be the big bridge. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. Intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a lead line in your right hand. Here's that right hand lead. And you'll repeat this part two times through for the entire intro. This part comes back in the song later as an interlude. For the first time you play this interlude, the song section control will be at two thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand and that same piano riff in your right hand. The next time you play the interlude will be a down interlude. You'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand and piano chords in your right hand. I typically voice those chords like this. verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand and piano chords in your right hand. Here's how I like to voice the chords for this section. For the medium verse, you'll have the song section control at one third. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand and chords in your right hand, just like the down verse.
notes, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. For this first down chorus, you'll play single notes in the low octave of your left hand and chords in your right hand. And I usually voice these chords the same way as in the verse. Now do note that as you're moving from the first verse to the first chorus, you'll want to wait to move the song section control until you play the first note of the chorus, like this. If you move the song section control first before playing the first note of the chorus, you'll hear an arp in the left hand. For the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand this time, and the right hand will play the chords the same way. You'll play this chorus two times through. You'll start with the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand and chords in your right hand. For the medium bridge, you'll move the song section control to two thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. And you'll probably want to do the same thing when moving the song section control as you did between the first verse and the first chorus. After the medium bridge, there's a short interlude before you play the big bridge. For this interlude, you'll keep the song section control where it's at. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a piano riff in your right hand. Here's the right hand riff. For the big bridge, you'll have the song section control all the way up. You'll play octaves in your left hand and that same piano riff in your right hand. Be sure to check out the demo to see how we move the song section control through all these different sections. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.